It's cataractcoach.com. Today we're talking about high power IOLs. So this is a 30 diopter lens going in an eye. And look, it's tough to get in there. Using the chopper to fixate the eye, the cartridge is bigger in this situation. It's not the standard smaller cartridge tip. Therefore, we need to have either a slightly larger incision or maybe do a wound assist technique. And there's the lens. We're going to unfold it in the capsular bag. Make sure the haptics open up completely. These lenses are very thick. There's the 30 diopter power. This patient had prior radial keratotomy, which was very aggressive and resulted in a lot of postoperative hyperopia. As a result, this 30 diopter lens power really is required. The patient was wearing a plus seven contact lens prior to this. So that lens looks like it's in good position. Important to remember that we want a a special aspheric lens here, a lens that does not induce spherical aberration. And the reason is, remember, a 30 diopter lens, if it's spherical, will induce a lot more spherical aberration than a 10 diopter lens. And that's a difference in the power of the optic from the center to the periphery. More in the center, less in the periphery, that causes that fisheye appearance of a typical spherical aberration. Let's look at the next example here, too. The next example is a patient who's going to get a 29 diopter lens. This patient will fill the capsule bag with our viscoelastic here. And I'll show you the lens. It's a 29 diopter multifocal. The multifocal has a 2.5 diopter add at the optical plane. There's the lens. And a 2.5 diopter add at the optical plane means at the spectacle plane, it's only about two diopters. We're going to now, again, fixate the eye with the chopper. That's important because this cartridge is barely going to fit in the injector, uh, in, the, in the incision. There's the tip going in, and we advance it. Now, if you feel resistance as you advance it, stop. That means you don't have enough viscoelastic lubrication in the cartridge, or the cartridge is too small. If you use too small of a cartridge, it will damage or crack the IOL optic. You don't want to do that. Important to use a sufficiently large one. It's always better to enlarge the incision and have a bigger cartridge tip than it is to force it through a small tip. So there's the lens, looks beautifully centered. Time to clean up, take out the viscoelastic and do a little polishing of the undersurface of the anterior capsule rim. So do your calculations carefully. Remember the lens calculations in these highly hyperopic eyes are a little less accurate as well. The big challenge is when the lens gets even higher than 30 diopters. We do have special order IOLs in the U.S. available up to 40 diopters for a single piece acrylic lens. Bigger than that is not readily available in the U.S. They may be in other countries. In those situations, I recommend implanting the maximum power lens. And then if you need to, you can do a piggyback later or just be happy enough. Thank you for watching.